especially early in this game, just getting going. Yeah, we seen a little flat, and uh, you know they uh, they were quick. Um, they used their speed, and um, you know we got to do a better job of obviously recognizing that uh, you know we're a little flat, and, and our game uh, um, you know maybe isn't where we want to be. But uh, but how we kind of get that going and grab momentum back, obviously uh, took us a little bit too long to get that going. May have said in the road trip or anything like that, just kind of get with maybe with the slow start. You know, whatever the circumstances are, uh, every team goes through uh, times during the year where um, you, know, you have a difficult schedule, you're coming off a long road trip, and, and uh, I think with the type of team that we have, we have to recognize um, recognize and understand uh, you know, how we have to fight through that and, and find ways uh, um, to execute, um, do what we need to do to, to uh, gra grab momentum, play to our game, and, and dictate the terms. So, um, especially the team uh, you know, we're striving to be. Um, in situations like these, you know, we have to be better. Power play does get, come up with a big goal there. What was your sense of, of the power play tonight? It's kind of like a lot, lot of our rest of our game. Just uh, our execution wasn't as sharp, um, and, and uh, at times it's had to be a little bit more direct and, and uh, just kind of let the work rate uh, allow kind of momentum to build and, and the game kind of come come to you. So. Um, you know, just uh, being a little bit quicker in a lot of areas and, and not trying to do too much. Are there many teams in the NHL deeper down the middle than they are? Uh, yeah, there, there's no doubt that they're deep, not just down the middle, and, and obviously uh, acquiring Dubois this offseason, but in lots, lots, of, lot, lots of areas uh, throughout their lineup, um, and just a very structured team. So those are the, those are the type of teams and the type of games uh, with where we want to go. That's the type of hockey we're going to be playing against, and we have to get comfortable with and understand uh, the way we need to play to have success. Yeah, obviously we had a tough time um, getting through the neutral zone, uh, creating zone entries with possession. Um, you know, they did a good job. They play a specific structure, and um, we had a tough time getting through it. Is there a, I don't know, something you say to each other when you know it's going bad? or Yeah. Or, like, what do you do? You just encourage each other to dig in, find more. Um, I mean, we talked about structure of practice yesterday. We work on it with the drills. We talked about it this morning and also before the game. And then, you know, there comes a time where it's just, um, you just got to find more. You just got to be more competitive. You got to work harder. got to, you know, just dig in a little harder. And when, when your team mistakes are sort of going behind Joe Wall, what do you say that say to the goalie? When there's team mistakes, sorry. When the team mistakes are kind of finding their way into the yeah, net, yeah. What do you say to the goalie? Um, that I mean, honestly, not much, just because of the nature of the game, because he's out there. But as a group, you just got to be better for him. That's all. Three games in a row against really special teams. It's really nice to see them in the Dallas game. Yeah. Yeah. Is that these tight checking games and yeah. stuff. I think so. Um, I mean, these are the games that you want to learn from, um, and you want to learn how to win um, against teams that play this way. Um, and I think it's a good chance for us to kind of, you know, watch some video, talk about what we need to do better. And I mean, next time we come up against a team that plays as tight as they do, um, you know, we've got to be better prepared. As, a, as, as players. Sorry, Sorry. Good chance to respond Thursday. With that in mind, mm -hmm. how significant is this game coming up? I know it's early. Yeah. It's Boston. It's got a lead against the top of the division. Yeah, it's big. Um, obviously, they've had a great start to the season again. Um, so for us, it's important that we you know, have a good day of practice tomorrow. Uh, you know, kind of refocus. We're, uh, we're getting on the road. I thought we had a pretty good road trip. Um, so, you know, it's a chance for us to build off of that. And, um, you know, again, they're a great team. They've had a great start. It's a tough building to play in, but it's kind of awesome this time of year. You want those challenges. You want those um, close games. You want to be competitive. You want to play against the best players, the best teams. So, uh, I mean, we got a chance to do that on Thursday. Yeah. Um, you know, they do. Obviously, you know that uh, they're a very structured team, especially the neutral zone. Um, you know, they sit in that. Uh, one three one pretty well, and you know if you don't have speed coming through, um, you're not going to get a lot of pucks back, and that was a struggle there for the start of the periods. Um, that's something that uh, you know we knew we needed to be better at, and we just didn't uh, we just didn't do it. Fans didn't like what they saw at the end of the second period there. How do you guys take that as a team when they're, uh, they're not liking it? Um, 
I mean, we just got to focus on ourselves. Obviously, you know, on the near end of that shift, you know, I think the guys did actually a great job of just staying tight, you know, not really letting a whole lot through the middle, um, not letting, uh, you know, their tiredness really kind of pull them out and, you know, give up a, a whole lot of, let's say, grade A chances in the middle. And um, that's all you can really do at that point, especially when you're out there for that long and they're kind of rolling like that. You just got to stay tight as a unit. thought they did a good job of that. But, um, you know, there's a couple of shifts that we just need to be better at before that. Why, why do you think the offense hasn't flowed as much as usual for, for you and Austin early this season, five on five? Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, I think um, I need to, you know, be more of a threat of a shooter. Um, you know, be um, a little more selfish in those areas, so it opens up Austin a little more, I'd say. Um, you know, it's got to have trust in our game. Um, you know, when we're going well, we're getting on the four check, we're stripping pucks, and um, we've had moments of that throughout the season, but just not enough. And, um, you know, we know we got to be better, and we will be better. Yeah. Um, I think uh, you got to give them credit. They're, they're a pretty good team, and they have a lot of structure. Um, they don't really give you a whole lot, and but they did a good job capitalizing on their chances. So I think it'll be a good uh, good game to learn from and take a look at some video and see if we can find some takeaways. When a lucky one goes in against you the way the first one did, what do you what do you think? How do you reset sort of thing? Yeah, um, just kind of try to focus on the next thing and. Uh, not much you can do when you know bounces happen and they happen both ways. So just try to focus on the next shot. You're young in your career. Most of your starts and games have happened on the road. Like, what's the biggest mm -hmm. difference as a goalie, if there's any, really, to these mm -hmm. games at home versus the road? Um, you know, I'm, I think just being at home, maybe you're a bit, a bit more comfortable and, and staying at your own place and, and stuff like that. But um, I think probably the biggest difference in the game is, is the crowd, and it's always nice to have the, the home crowd uh, cheering with you. I think it's been great. Um, you know, helps you to really you know settle in and and find your game, uh, especially in this league. And you know, there's a lot of games that that happen quickly. So um, you know, I've been very uh, very happy to be able to to get in the net as much as I have. And you know, each time uh, I'm trying to do the best I can and help this team win. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is that you know we're we're a duo, we're we're a partnership, and um, the goal is is to help the team win. And um, you know, I think it's it's been awesome being able to, to work with them and and learn from them over the over the past year. And um, you know I'm I hope uh, just like me, he takes as much you know pride and enjoy in enjoying my success as I take in his. So, what's your uh, takeaway from that tonight? Well, we obviously weren't very good, so. You know, we just uh, we were flat from the start, and, and you know we had a couple surges through the game at different times, but nothing sustained that we sustained. So you know, you're you're climbing out of a hole against a very good structured team. It's it's tough sledding. Is that the sort of thing where you can maybe just flush it, and, or you worry about a trend setting? And, like, yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna move on and prepare for Boston. Apologize if this was asked before we got in here, but. Um, when your big four don't get it done for you, do you need more from the rest of your roster to contribute on maybe well, like yeah. this? I mean, we, we need everybody, even when one of our top guys are going, you, you, you need everybody. Um, you know, we, we saw the importance of that when we were on the road and got some good performances from different people. Nice and Domi, <clears throat> you know, uh, score us a huge goal. Uh, our huge goals to come back and get us points in Tampa, and you know the uh, that that same line with Camp gets a huge goal for us with Giordano in in, in Nashville. Like you, you need those kind of performances for sure. Um, today nobody had it. Why did you have to put Morgan onto that top power play? Yeah. Just try, like the power play it was like our five on five play that it was. Yeah, it, it was you know, a night like today when you don't have it, you're sort of relying on the power play to be able to spark you and get some positive momentum for the group. Uh, like you kind of saw it in the third, you know, the power play scores on our next few shifts. Like all of a sudden you, you have some lags and and just wasn't happening for us in, in the, uh, on the first few power plays. So just changing the, changing the, the mix a bit. With Max tonight, is that just a, a guy trying to get something going and getting frustrated by 
stuff not going his way. Yeah, that's what I tell you. He's, he's trying to do something. It's a night where we're flat, and, you know, the game's pretty much a write-off uh, in terms of our ability to come back. So, you know, I think you can maybe go about it differently or better. But, uh, you know, he, he's uh, trying, to, trying to get something started. When the team is flat in front of the goalie, it can be can be tough for the goalie. What do you make of how Joseph navigated things tonight? Yeah, it's a, like you say, it's a tough night for him. Uh, first one, we put in our own net off of off of a stick and a redirect. They get they get two slam dunks and one they rip in the net off the post on the power play. So it's a tough night for the goalie. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not worried about uh, Joseph. He'll shake that off. Does Gregor do the right thing when the stick is broken in that sequence before the goal, or is that what you want him to do there? Yeah, we, like I thought it was a pretty, I thought it was a fine time for him to come and, and get his stick. You know, it's just, we had more than enough people in, in around that space to, to cover off at the net. Um, if Gregor had a stick or not, he's not going to be covering, that's not his job to cover that space regardless. So um, I think we just sort of lost track of that, and, you know, you're half an inch away with three different sticks to uh, have a chance to, to shut that pass down. Are you finding overall that uh, Domi and Bertuzzi Sheldon are still finding their way here and trying to get fully comfortable? Yeah, I, I thought both, both guys both guys had gave us some really good things on the road. Um, nobody had it tonight, so let's not try to poke holes in got new guys, old guys, guys who've been here, guys who haven't. Nobody had it tonight. And lots of guys were doing good things for us on the road. I know you don't like to make excuses, but you mentioned the fatigue factor. You think that can that be part of it, just because it's the one home before going back? Like it can. It can be part of it, but like it's the NHL. Every team's going to go through stuff like this. You you got to push through it. You got to find a way. So there's no excuses tonight. You got to find a way. There's things that we could have done better. Uh, sometimes you're sometimes you really you really have your A game. Everything's clicking. Sometimes you're you you know you got lots of energy, but you're not sharp with the puck, and you got to adapt and adjust your game. Sometimes you don't have energy, so you, you know, you need to be better in different ways. Your special teams need to carry you. Find a way. Don't find an excuse. Three, three goals for Austin and Mitch in the last seven games. Um, what is it happening with the combination of really the two most creative offensive players? Well, look to the side for a second. Yeah, it's just you know, I mean, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna to uh, pick apart this one here too much. But uh, you know, when you look at the bigger sample that you're referring to, I think it's just. You know, these things are just off a little bit, and there's been some chances there that haven't gone in, but but uh, chance generation has just just been uh, just been off. So um, you know they'll, they'll they'll continue with it. I, well, the things that I'm worried about those those two guys are not anywhere near the top of the list.